Hey everybody, it's Rabbit, and welcome to my playthrough of Albert Odyssey, The Legend of Eldeen on the Sega Saturn. Where we left off previously, we essentially, I guess, beat a portion of the game in the sense that we completed chapter one, and I wasn't even aware that this game came in chapters, but we ended up basically saving the entire world by defeating Redoria, who was our arch nemesis and one of the three siblings of the ancient legends in this game. So we took him down and we thought we were finished, but it turns out, according to the narrator, that after a time of peace, something suddenly happened and we're not sure what happened because the narrator stopped talking and then we were brought to the save menu so we're gonna find out together exactly what is gonna come next so let's go ahead and get started with chapter two of this game like i legitimately don't know what will come next although i am guessing it has something to do with balan since he was the last one to have ownership of the madriker which was the sword responsible for making Rodoria an asshole. So anyway, Leia says, hey, did you guys hear a knock at the door? Could you get it, Pike? I'm a little busy. I love that Ika's <laughs> living with us. So of course we're gonna say, sure, honey. <laughs> Thanks, sweet. Aw, if it's those humans with the clock tower magazine again, tell them to go away. And I'm really happy to see Leia with us as well. Who is this? Kia. Hi, my name's Kia. I'm the granddaughter of Veretta. Oh, Veretta was one of the people that helped Guy when we took down Rodoria. She was the old lady. She really, really, really needs your assistance. <laughs> she knocked Pike over them. Are you okay, Pike? Such a hyperactive young woman, bowling Pike over like this. Uh, Kia, I'm Ika. You said that Veretta is your grandma and she needs our help? For what? Long story, Ika. We'll tell you on the way. <gasps> it's Amen! Surprised to see me? You must have known we'd be together again. Oh, and don't faint yet. I brought a buddy. Amen, Grizz! How are you guys? Guys, I'm legitimately ecstatic to see these two. I was so sad when we split up. Anyway, Grizz says, I have not seen you two in a long time. Hello! Sorry to be a poop... Poop the party. I think she means a party pooper. But this is not a time for reunion portraits. Pike, we need you to come with us to the city of Goodell. If I have to, I'll drag you there. <laughs> She's legit. But then, but then, of course, Ika is not letting any woman drag Pike anywhere. Hey, Ika, is it? What's with the tug of war? I need Pike's assistance, and you need to let go. Listen, Kia, is it? First tell me why you need my Pike to go to Goodell. To tell you would waste more time and endanger more lives. Just let him go, okay? I mean, Ika can come too. Is it me or is it her? It's her, right? Calm down, Kia. We need Ika as much as we need Pike, so take nice, deep breaths and tell her why we're here. I would also be pleased if you were to relax, Kia. It will serve you better, I am certain. <laughs> Gris, such a diplomat. Pike, do you want me to tell Ika why I'm here? Because I don't think she needs to know. If you want me to spill it for Ika, I will. And of course, yeah, she, Ika who? That would be a terrible selection. We're gonna go with, she really should know, Kia. Thank you, love. Smoochies for you later. <laughs> Fine, whatever. I'm here because my grandmother is missing, along with Guy and Ceramis. Oh, that is not good news. Guy is missing? Has anything strange been happening in Goodell? I don't know. That's why the King of Goodell sent us here to get Pike. He didn't tell me if he knew anything about it. The King of Goodell sent you, hmm... Yes, he sent me to bring you together, then return to Goodell. Oh, so she also got Grizz and Eamon. I'm feeling a little calmer now. It does seem to help to talk about it. I went to Goodell when I hadn't heard from Granny Veretta in a long time. I'm sorry that I lost my temper and snapped at you, Kia. I understand what it's like to be scared for someone you love. Leia, we have to find out what's going on here. Don't worry about me, Ika. You and Pike go on. The king needs you. Aww. I'm gonna say, we'll be back as soon as we can, Leia. I wish she would come too. Oh, thank you both, thank you. Let's go, come on, Pike. Hey, hmm, I guess I didn't notice your love handles the last time. Chunked up a little since you beat Redoria, did you? <laughs> that is so mean. But what about Leos? Why don't we have her? Why'd she only get Grizz and Eamon? And where the hell did she find Eamon? Let's go. What? What did you say? 
Oh, shit. She knows a teleportation spell, just like her grandma. That is crazy. Ugh. What, Ika? What's the matter? We're in Gadal? But how did you do that? Ancient Chinese secret. Well, okay, Graham taught me. It takes a lot of skill to use a teleport spell without zapping yourself into a wall. You should have seen her teleport into my village. Scared one fellow so bad all his feathers fell out. Grah! <laughs> Is that a laugh, Grizz? You're surprised, Ika. Do you maybe respect me a little more? Maybe a little. Ha ha ha, you're funny, Ika. You work on that, and we'll go see the king. Why does she keep dragging <laughs> Pike? Pike can walk on his own. But I want to know where Leos is. We're not a family without Leos. Majesty, look, I have Pike and the others with me, just as you ordered. We're missing one, and this is not everyone. Now please, tell me what's happened to my grandmother. What do you know? I thank you all for coming. In a better world, I would be the bearer of happier news. But alas, this world now falls painfully short of the ideal. Thus, I have news not to fill your hearts with joy, but rather news that will grieve you. I pray you find the strength to bear it. Kia, your grandmother, Guy, and Ceramis were acting on some information we received when they made a terrible discovery. We were in constant contact with them during their expedition, but then, quite suddenly, they vanished without a trace. It was later we learned that one we thought to be dead long ago was apparently very much alive, as I feared. Bruce Lee's alive? Oh my god, I think I'm going to wet. <laughs> Shut up, Ika. Alas, I wish it were so, but it is not. One has returned, but it's not a good guy, Ika. Unfortunately, it's Balan Cesarius. I fucking called it, guys. I fucking called it. I knew it had to be this asshole, because we never heard anything else about him when he left with that weird blonde sorceress girl. So fuck yes. One rabbit, zero, whoever didn't agree with me. <laughs> We've confirmed his return by a number of very reliable sources. Muscle Pud is back? An interesting but fitting nickname, Ika. Yes, I'm afraid he's returned. He now lives only to wreak destruction and death on those who tried to kill him. Once I heard rumor of his return, I knew it would not be long before he returned here. So, as a precaution, I sent Guy leading a team to track down the source of the rumors, or Balin himself. We last heard from them when they were in the town of Agnes a fortnight ago. I fear they have met their end at the hand of Balin and his minions. No, no, please don't say that. We must think the best. I'm sure that they're fine. They're probably just too far away from Agnes to send word back to you. I admire your faith in their ability, Ika. I pray your hopes prove true. However, I cannot afford to wait, especially if that rogue Balin really is alive. Pike, I summon you to beseech your assistance in locating Balin and finding Guy and the others. I am already severely in your debt, but I am confident that you will rise to this challenge. We'll say certainly, my liege. Thank you, Pike. I remain forever in your debt, and I'm just happy he's not calling us Peak anymore, because that's what he was calling us the first time we met him. You must leave for Agnes at once. Once you arrive, contact a Prius named Mylius. He will assist you. My liege, neither myself nor any other with us has been to the town of Agnes. I know that the guys are too stubborn to ask, so can you please provide me with directions? It's not that they're stubborn, Ika. Men are physically unable to ask for directions. I fear you are too naive where the opposite sex is concerned. But I digress. <laughs> you don't need any kind of directions, Ika. I live in Agnes. It's only five seconds and a teleport spell away. Come on, let's go. I wonder if we'll run into Lulu Salaban. And yay, Kia joined our party. Although I'm not really that ecstatic about that because where is Leos? Like, we didn't even have her name mentioned. Wait, wait, I'm not ready. No time for delay. Watch this. I love this spell. <laughs> that is really cool that she can teleport us, though. I wonder if we'll have active control over that ability. Probably not, but... But I like the music in this town. It's very calming and serene. You do that again without warning, Makia, and I'll rip you a new one. Come on, Pike. This way. She loves dragging him. I think there's going to be some girl rivalry going on in our group now. 
Whereas Leos and Ika seem to have a relatively strong relationship. But all right, Milius should be here. That might be him awaiting our arrival. So the priest says, oh, praise Albert, you've arrived. I was expecting you. Hi, Milius, how are you? This is Pike and these are his friends. I brought them here to look for Granny Veretta. I've heard so much about you all. What you did was incredible. My name is Milius Factoria. I'm the priest and mayor of Agnes Factoria. Someone else had that last name. Was that Leos's last name? I never wanted to be a politician, but the people were quite persuasive, if you get my meaning. I think that was Leos's last name. Are they siblings, perhaps? Yeah, did you say Factoria? Indeed, Leos Factoria is my late brother's daughter. Ah, so Milius is Leos's uncle. I thought that last name sounded familiar. That makes her my niece, Pike. She comes from a long line of priests and healers. She never mentioned an uncle, but I suppose she always was a little reserved. My niece fought with you against Fedoria at the risk of her own life. Without her help, Pike, I don't think you could have beaten him, not even with your mighty sword. Now I ask you, Brother Pike, do whatever you can to return Sister Veretta safely and help my work. In fact, I'm asking you to reach deep into your heart and your money pouch and donate to the work. Give freely and the Lord shall turn the water of your misery into the wine of your every desire. <laughs> Is he really soliciting money from us? <laughs> I love how everyone's like, okay, I'm sorry, Pike. Like I thought, Miley's isn't going to be any help. What do you mean, like you thought? You knew this guy was useless? Strange, he really doesn't seem like he's related to Leos at all. Anyway, since Milius doesn't know anything, let's gather information on our own. We're good at that by now. And this seems like the place to start. Yeah, fuck this guy. Good luck, Brother Pike. Please find your missing friends. I'll say a prayer for you. Thanks, <laughs> Milius. Okay, well, we have control. So we have a new town to explore called Agnes, which is really interesting. I have no idea where the hell we are. When I listen to Miley speak, it's strange, but I feel relaxed. Some people say he's as nutty as a fruitcake, but I think Brother Milius is all right. <laughs> all right, old lady. And is that a fucking chicken? Oh, my gosh. All right. That makes me happy. Anyway, I talked to bitch tits over here. I'm going to explore inside this temple because we didn't really check it out. But that's crazy. So... As I predicted, Balin is causing some shit. And it looks like either Guy is injured or dead. I'm hoping it's the former. I really like Guy a lot, so I hope nothing horrible has befallen him and Ceramis and, I guess, Veretta. She was kind of mean to us, but, you know, I guess it's to be expected. I wish the game would also tell us how much time has passed since, you know, it could have been years, it could have just been like a month or two, we don't really know. And I can't look at the statue, but I'm not finding anything in these barrels, so we'll check the other path, and then we will go out into Agnes itself, look around, and <laughs> we'll talk to Miley's again. Continue on your epic journey, Pike, heir apparent to the legacy of Alberts. Woo. I don't think he seems that bad, he just <laughs> wants our donations to the temple. I guess this is his bed? You would think he would have people working with him, but... Okay, there's nothing here. So, let's check these and then hit the streets. Is that a cross? Okay, we are done in the temple. Oh, I suppose I should take a minute and we should check out Kia and see... Uh... Well, okay, her levels aren't too great compared to everyone else. I wonder if everyone is still equipped with what I put on them at the end of the last battle, and of course. And I don't think I got the shit from Leos back. Or maybe I did. I might have. I think this was Leos's. Um, so we'll go ahead and give her the amulet. Then robe. Okay, no, we did not get everything back. Or if we did, she just can't use it. Everyone else seems to be where I left them, so that's really nice. Let's check out her actual stats, too. And I suppose I should show you guys everyone's stats. Uh, so this is Pike, Ika, Kia, our newest member, Grizz, 
and you guys already know my fucking favorite, Eamon. So, Eamon's pretty close to levels, as well as Kia. I will definitely want to focus on that, and I don't know if the map will... Oh, so that's where we are. That's really cool. Okay, let's just see what items we have. I don't think we got back the shit that... Yeah, I don't think we got back what Leos had equipped. I think she got to keep it, but I mean, it's fine. I don't think Kia will utilize the same shit anyway. So, all is well. Although, I did not even see how much money we had. So, sorry guys, let me check our gold, 769. And we have some stuff to sell, so hopefully we'll be in okay shape to upgrade our shit, if that is even an option. Okay, so, keeping up with tradition, I'm going to start and kind of work my way from left to right and then top to bottom, just so that we hit up everything. Uh, so, we'll talk to this guy. Actually, I did see a couple of strangers passing through here. One of them was a beautiful woman, and the other was an enormous man. That is probably Balin and the blonde sorceress. He looked like he could bench press a small cottage if he wanted to. They were talking about the Graveyard of Ages. That place is north of Mycent, and Mycent is east of here. Okay, so there's our pro tip. We need to go east of Agnes, and then north of that location, Mycent. Okay. Well, that's really cool. We'll talk to you too, Granny. Yes, I saw the woman you described. She was traveling through town with a man who looked very much like the heroic descendant of Albert. That's really cool. But okay, guys, we are up on time. So when we come back together on the next episode, we are going to finish exploring this whole town of Agnes. And then, as was just explained to us by that villager, we're going to head east of here to a different town called Mycent, and then north from that point to see if we can catch up with Balin and the Sorceress. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I am your host, Rabbit, and this is my playthrough of Albert Odyssey. I'll see you in just a moment.